Hello and welcome to the channel. I am Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP. In this video, I am going to show you how we can give unique permission to a folder inside a SharePoint document library. If you look at this image, I have a company documents which has various folders inside it. For example, it has finance, HR and marketing team uh, training folders are there. I want only specific people should access finance folder and specific people should access uh, HR folder like this. And also we will see how we can add the left navigation so that if you will not have access to the folder then the left navigation link will not appear to you. Now I will open my SharePoint document library. Okay, before that if you want to learn SharePoint quickly I have SharePoint training courses which you can see which you can get the links you can get in the description of this particular video. I have the training courses for SharePoint developers as well as SharePoint site owners. You can have a look at this complete training course. I'll put the link in the comment box. Now coming back to the SharePoint site, I have this SharePoint site you can see here and I will open my uh, 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 the company documents document library so i'll go to site content here and we can see the document library so this is the company documents document library which is having this folders finance hr marketing and training now what we will do is to give unique permission to this particular folder i'll open this click on this triple dot and then you can see here manage access so when you click on manage access, you will be able to see who, who all are having access to this library, sorry, this folder. And in this case, if you look at here, uh, your site owners and visitor and members having access. I want to remove this access, but remember site owner access will be there. If you want to remove the site owner group, then you have to go advance and then we can remove it. Uh, but now we will I will just click on this uh, this arrow and then I will say stop sharing and I'll say remove Similarly for the visitor. I will say stop sharing and remove So now if you'll see only this library or sorry this folder is having access to the site owners So the site owners uh, if I will show you the site owners uh, will be having Let me open in another tab here if I'll go here and you can see here the site permission only if you'll go to the members you can see here this is the owner all others are members so that means if i will open the document library in another tab in, with another login let me open in an incognito window you can see here i will log in with another user so in this case i will log in with Fabna and I'll put the password. I'll click on yes. And now if you will open this library, you can see here we cannot see the finance uh, uh, folder here. Now what I will do is we will give access to the particular user. Again, I'll go to manage access. You can see here there's a plus button. Click on that. And then here I will type the user. You can see here and i'll just uncheck notify access i will click on grant access so that means that access has been granted to the particular user so i will go now to the Vavna user you can see here this is the same login and now the user can see it what i'll do is i'll open in another library so in uh, sorry in another credential so another user basically so i'll just put it and in this case, we will log in with a user. So I will put it here. The user is Pratmini. And I'll put the password here. So the ideally we have not shared uh, the folder with this user. So if you will see here the user should not see that folder. You can see here the user cannot see the folder. 
so this way you can give access to individual users individual users for example if i'll go to the hr folder now i'll click on manage access you can see here everyone ha is having access and i can restrict that thing now what we will do is i will uh, or let let me just show you i will go to manage access and this time i will remove this i will say remove remove and i will add this time for the mini user only so if you'll see here i'll click on grant access that means now what we did here is i give access finance folder to bhavna and hr folder to padmini so if i will now refresh this is the bhavna user you can see here if i'll refresh now even we don't need to refresh it now you can see here hr folder is not there she can only see the finance folder i mean of course we have not given any permission to marketing and training so everyone can see it if i will go to the other login and in this case if you see here the user can see the hr folder marketing and training the not the finance folder because we have not given access to that now next thing what we will do is we will set up the left navigation so in this case what we will do is i will click on this finance i'll just copy this and i'll click on edit you can see here i'll put the link here so if you'll see here i have copied everything from the browser that link i have pulled put and then i will say finance i'll click on save so now what will happen is so i can i added the finance now let me go to the bhavna user bhavna is is having access to this folder so ideally she should see it you can see here she can see finance folder but if i will log in with padmi user i'll click on refresh you can see here i will just refresh the page so if you can see here now i refreshed it and still you can see the finance folder but ideally this user doesn't have access you can see here the folder is not there now what we can do in this case is what i realize here is the path that we are giving so in this case if you'll see here this is the complete path that i gave instead of that i will copy this i'll put in a notepad and i'll put finance here because this is the folder url that we wants to provide now i will edit the link i will just click on this edit and i will remove that from here i'll click on okay save so in this case what we did now is we have given the path in a different way so you can see here the path is now your library name slash finance which is our folder name now if i log in with uh, bhavna user you can see here uh, we can see it uh, that is expected because that user is having access but now let's go to the other user here this is the user which is Uh, you can see here padmini user and we cannot see this thing now so that link is not available now finance link so similarly if i'll put the hr link only in in this login you can see the hr link but in bhavna user you will not be able to see this so the problem here is this is uh, security trimmed that means if i don't have access to that url then i cannot see it in my login unless and until you are a site owner and you have not removed that but what we can do here is you can provide the folder url like this way let me show you from here you can see here company documents still this much is my site uh, folder url sorry sharepoint document library folder url sorry document library url and this is my folder url so i can provide the path like this now i was telling you about uh, the site owner permission if you want to remove the site owner permission for example in this case if i'll go here you can see the site owner is having permission and then uh, uh, the user only the bhavna user is having access to this finance folder now this advanced link you can if you'll click on this advanced link you can see here actually these are the folders that uh, uh, that the user is having access for example in this case site owner whoever are member of that site owner group they will be able to see it maybe this is there is five people they all can see it but if you don't want this thing then you can just click on this and then you can see here remove user but make sure that you will 
create you will add one more user as who can see it i mean the user that you want uh, he, he or she will take care of of this permission thing because if i will remove the site owner now only bhavna can see it and they can uh, if next time this this will not be available to other user for example i am a site owner now since i am part of that group i can see this group if i will remove this uh, a group from here by clicking on this link then that means only bhavna can see it when i'll come back here i cannot see that so that that's what that's what you have to uh, uh, do that so i'll click on remove you can see here you can just click on now only bhavna can see it so if i'll refresh now i should not be able to see it somehow it will take some time probably the site owner uh, or uh, this one but if you'll remove it then they will not be able to see this so now if you will actually go here manage access so you, you still uh, this 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 is there so that's the reason i can see it but else you will not be able to see it so in the advanced you can actually change little more at the permission level where you can remove the groups which you cannot remove over there so this is how we can give uh, unique permission to folder in the sharepoint document library and also how we can add in the navigation so this is how you can work with uh, uh, unique permission for this if you like our videos kindly subscribe to our youtube channel so you will get a lot of videos on that and on, on SharePoint, Power Apps, Power BI, Azure, Flow, SPFX, all these technologies. And these are our website, uh, these are the Twitter handles and our LinkedIn and Facebook pages. So you can like us in our Facebook pages and have a nice day.